Buying your first car is a big step towards being independent. Mag-iba na priorities mo pag may sarili kang sasakyan and it will teach you a lot of things in life maliban sa pag-check kung tumaas ba ang presyo ng gasolina o hindi. I'm Stanley Chi. For Phil Coaches Hitlist and in this episode, we will talk about the 11 affordable cars under 700,000 in the Philippines. Before we start, please subscribe to Phil Coaches YouTube channel and click the bell button for updates. Philcoche is the leading car website in the country, kaya kung bibili kayo ng mga sasakyan, log on to philcoche.com and you'll get the best car deals in the Philippines. The ground rules for this episode are the following. Kailangan 2020 model, available sa Pilipinas, at kailangan under 700,000. Take note, most of the cars on the list are either a sedan, hatchback, or a subcompact crossover. So let's start the countdown in no particular order, 11 affordable cars under 700,000 in the Philippines. Number 11, Mitsubishi Mirage. Isa sa mga pinaka-reliable na sasakyan. It drives you from point A to point B. The Mitsubishi Mirage is your entry-level vehicle to Mitsubishi. One of the strongest features this hatchback can offer is its outstanding fuel efficiency rated at 21 kilometers per liter. This has been a popular choice among Filipinos who are just starting their respective careers. Pang fresh grad o bagong promote na empleyado tong sasakyan na to. As for pricing, the MT variant is priced at 699,000 while the CVT variant is priced at 760,000. Both variants are powered by a 1.2 liter 3 cylinder engine that produces 78 horsepower and 100 newton meter of torque. Not bad, ah? Number 10, Cherry Tigo 2. A small crossover from Cherry, affordable at malinis ang design, spacious enough for 5 passengers. Cherry Tigo 2 is a good example of a good quality vehicle at a low price. It's surprisingly stylish on the outside with the help of its C-shaped LED daytime running lights and aerodynamic racing level sports kit at the front, side, tail parts of the Tigo 2. It comes with a well-designed black and orange interior and an 8-inch capacitive touch HD screen. Pricing starts at 695000 for the 1.5 liter 5-speed MT and goes up to 770000 for the 1.5 liter 4-speed AT. China brand to ah. Alam na. Number 9, Chevrolet Spark. One of the priciest small hatchback you can buy today. Chevrolet kasi. Alam nyo naman, if it's a Chevy, it must be good. Teka lang. Say ko films yun. Sorry. It's a Titan joke. <laughs> Kung nag-gets nyo, ibig sabihin batang 90s kayo at medyo may edad na kayo ha. Your ticket in owning a Chevrolet, the Spark, is a hatchback that has been around the auto scene for more than two decades. It uses a 1.4 liter Ecotec engine that comes with a dual variable valve timing that provides excellent power and efficiency. The price for the Spark 5 speed MT variant is 694,888. While the Spark Premier CVT is priced at 734,888. Chevrolet covers parts and service for 5 years or a distance of 100,000 kilometers. Pwede na. Number 8, Volkswagen Santana. Kung gusto mong mapansin ng mga tao, getting a Volkswagen should do the trick. It's a small family car. Para itong Sasakyan nila Scooby-Doo pero mas modern. Teka, kilala niyo pa ba si Scooby-Doo? If you want to get your hands on a Volkswagen car, then maybe Santana is the car for you. This sedan breaks the stereotype of European cars as a premium and expensive vehicle option in the country. Volkswagen currently offers three variants for the Santana. The MPI MT is the only variant under 700,000 with the price at 686,000 pesos. It uses a smaller 1.4 liter engine capable of generating 89 horsepower and 132 newton meter of torque. In addition, the Volkswagen Santana comes with 3 years or 100,000 KMS warranty and a 1 year free 24-7 road assistance. Is Scooby-Dooby-Doo! 
Number 7, Hyundai Reina. The budget car na tinapat ng Hyundai sa Vios at dahil mahilig ka naman sa mga Korean novelas, para ka na rin si Lee Min Ho kung minamaneho mo tong Korean Vios estate. Reina pala. If you are planning to get an affordable and fairly economical sedan, then Hyundai Reina is a good choice to get started with. Its fuel efficiency is rated 25.8 km per liter conducted by Hyundai with the presence of the AAP. Alam nyo ba yun? Automobile Association of the Philippines? Hyundai Philippines offers two variants. The first variant is the GL5 MT priced at 683000 and the second variant is the GL480 priced at 733000 Both variants are powered by a 1.4 liter MPI engine that is capable of producing 95 horsepower and 142 newton meter of torque. Mapapaan yung haseyo ka sa tuwa. Number 6, Toyota Vios. Speaking of the devil, it's one of the most popular cars in the country. Halos lahat yata ng Pinoy alam kung ano ang Vios. Para tong Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic nung 90s. Kilala ng lahat, an instant classic. The name is very familiar to every Filipino since it's the country's best-selling car with 33,181 units sold in 2019. Uy, fun yan, ha? And it's considered one of the most popular cars in the Philippines. It's offered with plenty of variants marketed to meet the demands to different buyers. Galing mo, Toyota. Two Toyota Vios variants are priced under 700,000, namely the 1.3 base MT priced at 671,000 pesos and the 1.3 JMT priced at 697,000 pesos. Well, yung bagong Vios 2020, na-testing na yan ng kaibigan nating si Rep. Click the pop-up video on my upper left para mapanood yung video na yun. Si Rep yung pag nagre-review ay eh, naka-gym attire, tsaka lagi nagpapakil. Well, hindi ko talaga kaya yung ginagawa niya. Minsan na insecure ako. Pero, sino bang gagong magre-review ng kotse na naka-gym attire? Sang araw gagawin ko rin yan. Gago rin ako eh. Guys, nangangalahati na tayo kasi nasa top 5 na yung listahan natin. And number 5 is the Nissan Almera. A sportier and classier family car na tinapat na naman ng Nissan sa, you guessed it right, Toyota Vios. Signifying the start of many things, the Almera is Nissan's entry-level vehicle to its Philippine lineup. This sedan was first introduced in 1995 and is known to possess various nameplates around the world, namely the Versa and Sunny. There are currently seven options for the Almera. However, only one option falls under the 700,000 pesos price point, which is the 1.2 MT priced at 657,000 pesos. This variant uses a smaller 1.2 liter engine while the rest of the variants use a 1.5 liter engine. Grabe, itong Vios para siyang brand X. Palaban ng lahat. Sorry, that's another Tito Joe. I'm on a roll. Number 4, Honda Brio. Young and sporty, perfect for a small family. Now on its second generation, the Honda Brio comes with a new and sporty appearance. It has been a popular choice among those who are on a budget but wishes to never go out of style on the road. Para sa mga maporma pero nagtitipid, the Brio is Honda's third most sold unit in 2019 locally and held a 19% market share in the A-segment category. Buti na lang, the two Brio variants slip under 700,000 pesos price point. The 1.2 SMT is priced at 598,000 pesos while the 1.2 DCVT is priced at 658,000 pesos. It also comes with a sportier option named RS. However, the two RS variants are already priced about 700,000 pesos. Hindi nakasali sa listahan natin yun. Above 700,000 eh. Number 3, Kia Picanto. Simple lang pero reliable. It's unassuming and is a good fit in Philippine roads. Kia Picanto is Kia's smallest vehicle in its lineup. It features an aggressive exterior design that includes its signature Tiger grill. It uses either a Kappa 1.0 liter MPI engine or a Kappa 1.2 liter MPI engine 
depending on the variant. Kia offers 4 variants for the Picanto but only 3 are within the 700,000 pesos price point. Namely, the 1.0 LXMT priced at 590,000 and 1.0 LXAT priced at 635,000 pesos. And the 1.2 EXMT is priced at 700,000 pesos. Sakto! Number 2, Toyota Wigo. Ang little brother ng Toyota Vios. Sa bawat kanto't sulok ng Pilipinas, may makikita kang Wigo. It's not a surprise to hear that the Toyota Wigo is part of the best-selling cars in 2019. In fact, the Wigo managed to rank 8 in the 2019 best-selling car in the country with 18,183 units sold and is ranked 6 in the best-selling Toyota cars in 2019. Uy, fun fact the base E variant is priced at 568,000 pesos while the GMT variant is priced at 623,000 pesos. The top spec G80 variant is priced at 658,000 pesos. Moreover, Toyota is also offering a Wigo TRD that's priced at 700,000 pesos. Tandaan nyo, sa bawat kantot sulok ay may Wigo kang makikita. Sana magets yung double entendre na joke ko ha. Number 1, Suzuki Espresso. Kung hindi mo afford bumili ng Jimny, ito ang smaller version niya. Not many Filipinos admired Suzuki's introduction of the new Espresso to the local market. Some say its boxy exterior design needs more improvement, while some say that the Suzuki Espresso is just right for its price tag. The Espresso can be dubbed as the ideal daily or practical car for most Filipinos. One of the many concerns for the Espresso is its lack of an automatic transmission option. Suzuki currently offers only one variant and that is the GLMT priced at 518,000 pesos. It uses a 1.0 liter K10B engine that is capable of producing 67 horsepower at 90 newton meter of torque. Pwede nung sabihin na budget version ng Jimny ang Espresso pero iba pa rin talaga Jimny. Pati ang presyo iba rin, hindi ganun ka-affordable kasi above 700,000 pesos yun eh. There you have it, the 11 affordable cars under 700,000 pesos in the Philippines. I'm Stanley Chi for Phil Coaches Hit List. Kung may gusto kayong idagdag or suggestions, pag-usapan natin lahat yan sa comment section. Um, direct, aabot ba yung budget mo sa mga sinabi kong kotse kanina? Hindi, mas type mo yung second hand. Okay, sige, check natin sa Pilkoche website. Mukhang kompleto naman doon. Um, mabanggit pa ba ako ng mga main comments? Babasahin ko pa ba? Hindi na. Sa bagay, no? Ayoko rin na magulong buhay eh. Tsaka ang dami ko nang hinirit na jokes ngayong episode. Okay na yun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Pilkoche, the country's number one online car portal.